I wanted to build a Kanban type of dashboard that was at the same time dynamic and 3D, but I also wanted the solution to be simple and easy to reproduce. So I spent a little bit of time on this until I found the right solution. Step one, we're just inputting the tasks. I've created a table here. On the left-hand side, there is a type of task or the rack. We'll see when we come to it what that means. Uh, we have a reference that will be allocated to the task. I've also created another field called put on task board, yes, no. Task board or a Kanban is meant to be for quick action, for tasks for today, maybe a max of three, five days. So we don't want to drag too many, too many tasks. So the idea is once you have dealt with that task and it's been completed for a while, leave it a few days to let people know it's been completed, but after you can remove it. And the status is where it's at progress or not. So this is what I have started with. Type of task here, I've decided to go development test design only, but you can have more, obviously. The task description, as we mentioned, put on the Kanban, yes, no, status on the whole progress. The category I have for the type of task here, I put it here and I have a number allocated to each category. The reason why I have that is we don't want to repeat every time design, development or test on our board. So you could have much more obviously, but I wanted to keep it simple. How do we make sure that we only have tasks that are on that list? Here? Data, data validation. We put a low list, source, and then we select those three. Every time I go back here and I want to click on this, here I'm doing a VLOOKUP. I could do an XLOOKUP, but I, I want to make sure that if you have an older version of Excel, you can at least uh, understand that part. So VLOOKUP, what, what I do is I'm looking for that value in this table here. And if I find it, I retrieve the number here. So I'm looking for that value before in that table here if I find it I bring back the second column now the color I might as well do the coloring as well so for the color it's very easy you decide on three colors and after you do a conditional formatting you go to home conditional formatting if you don't know how to do this I'll show you quickly you create a new rule Format only cells that contain cell value is equal to one, for instance. And then you would put format, fill, and then you would choose your color. Just gonna show you the whole load completed. So I've already done this. If the cell value is one, I put this color, two, this other color, and three, this other color. So this is bringing me back the color here. It's not extremely useful here because we have this, but when we do the board, it will become handy. Now this is where you put your, your task. Now the status, same. I only have four here on hold, not started, progress or completed, but you could have 25 if you liked, as long as you create 25 boards. So this is obviously every Kanban shows something different. To validate, it's the same thing. Data, data validation, settings, put a list and a source, click on it. Now when I go back here, so this is it. We have two validation lists and we have our task. I've created here a table with four cells wide and 13 cells deep. Now I have selected 13 rows because I am planning to put only 10, a maximum of 10 tasks in my board. So in other words, the task description will be on this one here. I'm just going to highlight it so it's a bit more obvious. My tasks will be on this one. Now on this colon here, on these few cells here, I will have the, the type of task will be highlighted here. 
Those are more for, the rest are more for decoration, if you like. They are more for, for design. They will be around. They will be the borders. I will also be creating an artificial shadow around it like this. It's very dark. You can fine tune all that later on. I've just highlighted all this. I will be removing borders. I will be actually adding just the border around this whole board in white. Now, if you want an overall blue background, you just need to find somewhere a color that you like. So for me, I, I, I went online. I really like that color here. I really like that blue. So instead of having to paint all the all the cells in my spreadsheet in blue, what I can do is to apply the background here using Excel. But the, the challenge with Excel, they just want you to have a file. They just uh, they just don't don't let you just have a the color there. So what you can do is you take the the window clipper and you create yourself a very small PNG. I put it under loads and then here the only thing I need to do is I need to go back to background. I select the small PNG that I had and here you go that's quite magical actually. First thing to do is to bring back the header so that will be not only to tell us what is in this board but that will also allow us to retrieve the task list allocated to that board. So here I'm just going to retrieve the header from my other tab. So I will take completed uh, because I like to do things in different order. Now I would prefer if it was all caps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter upper here. And here I'll be choosing another font, that one too hard to pronounce. Now this is where I've entered the mag magic formula here. So we can pause a little bit so we can walk you through this formula. So this is filter. Filter is a formula available, I believe, in 365, but also maybe in 2021. So if you don't have this latest version of Excel, just, just let me know. I think there's another way to do it that is a little bit more complicated but if there's enough interest i can uh, highlight it to you as well so filter is uh, very powerful it's more or less as its name applies filter a list so that's gonna filter our task list i filter the c to to d so that means i only want to bring back those two columns here and what is the condition the condition is that the column f which is the status equal before, which is this one, which is completed. And I have made it a bit more complicated. I've added another condition, which is that the Kanban itself flag is set to yes, which is the colon E. I mean, I could have named those, those things, but let's focus on the tables at this stage. Uh, but I didn't want to make it too complicated quite visual this way so we have the task here that are completed and that have the Kanban flag or task board flag to yes and if it meets this condition it's very dynamic it brings all this so this is what is quite magical is that if you move another one that was completed here if you remove it it will remove it from here as well so that's already it it doesn't look good but we can make some, some change so it looks uh, much better. Once again, when all this is designed, and we can multiply this by four, and it's actually very fast, as I've mentioned. Now, what do we want? So we want to have this row here, which will be the task type. What we want to do is, we don't want to show numbers, we only want to show the color. Now, as we have already done the conditional formatting, we can just take the format painter, select that cell, and apply it to the board. 
once done, you just need to make sure that you reapply the gold background, the default background of those cells. So what I want to do here, it's quite simple, is I want to say if it's not a blank value, show me a white background, let's do this. Uh, new rule, what only says that content, if there's no blank, I want to have a white background and I also want to have some black borders. Now let's see if it works. That's it. Something else is I don't want to see those numbers. So in order to remove the numbers and have still them existing so we can still make the link, the conditional formatting, I just format the cells with this magic free semicolon. So this way that gives you just a visual. I've seen that and I think that's, uh, I think that's okay. I think that's quite good. Now it's just a matter of duplicating these four times. 